Okay, this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of measurement and more specifically we're going to focus on our understanding of volume. So what is volume? Well essentially volume is the space inside a 3D object and it's measured in units cubed, meaning if it's uh, if the perimeter of this object or the side lengths of these objects are in metres, the volume would be in metres cubed. If the side lengths are in centimetres, or the radius might be in centimetres, then the volume would be centimetres cubed. And the same if it was millimetres, the volume would be millimetres cubed. And in this video, we're going to look at uh, the following objects. So we're going to look at rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, cylinders, square based pyramids, cones, and spheres. Uh, so first up, I guess we're going to talk about uh, how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. Now this is probably the easiest one you're going to come across, and it's essentially the length of the prism times by the width of the prism multiplied by the height of the prism. Um, so as an example, we've got this yellow prism down the bottom. Our volume is going to be uh, length times width times height. In this particular case, our length is 7.5 centimetres, our width is 6 centimetres, and our height is 4.5 centimetres. If we put all that into a calculator, we end up with 202.5 centimetres cubed. Okay, so we're now going to calculate the volume of a triangular prism. Uh, in order to do that, you need to vol uh, multiply the area of the cross section. In this particular case, the cross section is just our triangle section here. We need to multiply that by our length. And the length is just the depth or the length as far as the uh, how much the shape goes back or the 3D object goes back. So in order to do that, our volume, we need to work out the area of a triangle first. Now remember the area of a triangle is half base times our height. We are then going to times it by, I'm going to call it uh, length, because that's what it says in the uh, formula just up here. So this becomes a half times by 7 times by 6 times 8. Now 7 times 6 is 42, half of that is 21, so this becomes 21 multiplied by 8. Uh, 20 times by 8 is 160, therefore our answer is 168 centimetres cubed. Now the next 3D object we're going to look at is calculating the volume of a cylinder. All right, now a cylinder is very similar to a triangular based pyramid, where a uh, triangular based prism, sorry, where we're looking at multiplying the area of the cross section by the length. Now the area of the cross section in a, vol uh, in a cylinder is actually pi r squared because that's the area of our circle. And the circles happen to be our cross sections. Once we've got that, we then just multiply by the length or the height. Of the cylinder. So as an example with this yellow cylinder we have down in the bottom left hand corner, the area volume is going to be the area of the circle multiplied by our height in this particular case. Now this is going to be pi times 2.5 squared because the radius is half of the diameter. We're then going to multiply our answer by 8. Now if we put this into a calculator, you'll end up with an answer of approximately 157 centimetres cubed. Now the next two shapes we're going to look at are the square base pyramid and the cone. We're going to look at both of them at the same time because they're both known as tapered solids. Okay, so they both have, share the same formula. In order to find the volume of a tapered solid, you need to find the area of the base first. Now obviously if it's a square base pyramid, that's uh, the area of a square, if it's a cone, then that's the area of a circle. Then you multiply by the height of this particular 3D object, and then you multiply by a third, or you can divide by three. It's exactly the same thing. If we look at um, example A, you can see that we've done the area of the base, it's a square base pyramid, 
Hence, we've got 9 times 9. Then we multiplied by our height of 7, and that gave us 189 centimetres cubed. Same thing with example B. We've looked at the area of the base, which is pi times r squared, so therefore pi times 2.5 squared. And then we've multiplied by our height, which was 6, and that's given us 39.3 metres cubed. So the last object we're going to look at is a sphere. Um, so to calculate the volume of a sphere, you need to multiply pi, the number pi, by the cube of the radius of your sphere, and then multiply your answer by 4 thirds. So if we look at our example here, the pink sphere, we've got 4 thirds multiplied by pi, multiplied by our radius cubed, which is going to be 4 thirds multiplied by pi, multiplied by 5 cubed. And we can just put that into our calculator, which is going to give us an answer of 523. basically 6 centimetres cubed. Okay, so here are some practice questions I'd like you to have a go at. Please feel free to pause the video. Um, once you think you've got the answers correct, continue the video and we'll see how you went. Okay, so let's see how you went. Uh, the first object I'm going to solve is the triangular prism. So the volume for this was the area of our triangle, which is a half base times height. And then we're going to times that by our depth. So this became a half my base was 12 multiplied by 16 and I'm going to times that by the depth which was 10 and that's going to give me an answer of 960 centimeters cubed. The next shape I'm going to, object I'm going to uh, solve is the cylinder. So remember the volume for a cylinder was the uh, area of our circle pi r squared multiplied by our length. Uh, I won't put the 5 in just yet, I'll just call it length, which was pi times 1.5 squared times by 5. And if you put that into your calculator, an answer of 35.34 metres cubed. Now the next one I'm going to do is the sphere. So that was 4 thirds pi r cubed. So this became 4 thirds pi 4 cubed, which was going to be an answer of 268 metres cubed. Um, the two, so the square base pyramid and the cone both use the same formula. So remember the volume is 1 third times the area of our cross section. In this particular case, it's length times width. Then we're going to multiply by our height. Here, that becomes one third times by 16 times by 6. And that gives us an answer of 32 metres cubed. And the cone, the volume is one third multiplied by the area of our cross section, which is pi r squared multiplied by our height. In this particular case, it's one third multiplied by pi 4.5 squared multiplied by 11. You put that into your calculator and you'll end up with 233.26 meters cubed.